I don't hear any callers. Okay, caller, can you turn your radio up? We're not getting any feedback whatsoever. Did, did the phone ring? You still I, haven't tried waffles, Danny? Hello, caller. I, I don't get, 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 get it. You're listening to Bear Friend Tea Party, a group of women with very different lives and struggles and experiences, united through food, friendship, and faith. I'm nurturing mother hen Christopher Winter, and I'm joined on the program tonight by sassy black woman D. Gunnard Beamish. Hey. Assertive career gal Jeremy Mullis from North Carolina. It's good to be here. And wanton slut Jonathan Bumpers. Well, how you doing? Great. Everybody feel good about that? I, I feel, feel pretty, great about surprisingly that. I felt pretty, good about that. I felt like that was excellent. Jeremy, what's on the program tonight? K-pop is pretty good. good. Um, well, we've got a great show for you tonight. Jeremy, uh, you're all out of focus. focus. Segment, focus. One, focus. One, one, one. Segment one, classic ill-fated fast food ventures, the McDLT. Segment two, a series of controversial statements, part two. Segment three, 50 Fictional Horses Blitz Quiz. And <laughs> segment four, Pancakes v. Waffles. Is that new? I Classic assume that's Supreme re- Court case. Yeah, exa- thank you. I was I did, about to make I didn't that joke. Pre- prepare for that one. Well, let's move on to letters and shit. Letters and shit. Um... We did get a few, a lot of comments on episode 00038, I'm your DJ now. <laughs> um, Classic episode. Regular listener and super fan Drew Bees. <laughs> Classic listener. <laughs> Great uh, listener. Commented on our blog to say, um, this episode is terrible. When are you guys going to get back to the topics that people truly care about? Like the Disney Mi- afternoon. Been waiting for fucking ever to hear a thoughtful discussion on existentialism in Chippendale's Rescue Rangers. You rat bastard dickheads. No one cares about DJ Jazzy Jeff. Unsubscribe. <laughs> Uh, Drew, uh, this is uh, this is Dan from the Bear Friend Tea Party podcast. Um, I'm not sure you have an intrinsic understanding of the way subscribing to podcasts works. <laughs> <laughs> it is not uh, administrated by uh, a third party. You uh, have it's opt out, opt in. So uh, wait, it is. That means wait. So I don't have to listen to it. As I tell uh, anyone I come across. Please remember, just because you download the podcast doesn't mean you have to listen to it. But you no. do have to download it. Yeah. Mm. And I'm not sure that existentialism is really the most profitable frame for examining... And we have a letter from a new listener, Combat in the Erogenous Zone. Um, and Combat in the Erogenous Zone says... What? Is it the same Will Smith you know like the famous actor is? <laughs> um, well, Combat, unfortunately we do not answer listener correspondence that does not use proper grammar and punctuation, so we're going to have to move on. And one final note we got... We got another comment from Drew, 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 Drew regular listener and super fan, <laughs> Drew B. Classic super I fan. I think a day later. <laughs> hey, guys. Finally got a chance to listen to the new episode for the first time. And I got to say, wow. I was really blown away by the quality of this episode. From the choice of topics to the sound design to the, as always, insightful discussion. This podcast is really starting to come into its own. I will recommend to all my friends and pets. And then... And then Drew um, Drew says, um, because I am the president of the United States, I bet my endorsement can really make a difference. Keep it up. Yeah. Do we so. need to instate a character limit? That was a pretty long message. Also, that was I, a little which bit, suggests yeah. that that was probably President Clinton. Yeah, was pro- I was thanks. 
So, uh, uh, Drew Bees, uh, I have two uh, two theories on Drew Bees. You're, you're either a paranoid schizophrenic or you are a fake account owned by two people that don't communicate with one another. <laughs> so, uh, thanks for listening. Either way, thanks for your support. <laughs> Isn't it possible that we just have two listeners named Drew Bees? I mean, it's a common name. Are they spelled the same? Who share an email they address? Both common. It's common name. No, 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 it's not common. Common name. Oh, they both have the email address outrageous food shapes. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. Impossible food shapes. <laughs> no, you're Sandusky, the parking commissioner. Wait, 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 wait. I think there should be a character minimum. You have to be a real character. I was at a Goodwill the other day, and in the book section, uh, they had a Bill Cosby book on display, and I was like, the fuck? I have a correction. In episode 00033, the Otis Hypotenuse... Classic episode. Classic Hypotenuse. Uh, we were attempting to name as many NES games as we could within two minutes. When I was editing that episode, when Chris said Blasteroids... <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about plastic. I in, I inserted I inserted the uh the the sample of a robot voice saying not a real game. Uh it turns out that is incorrect. Hmm. There was a real game called Blasteroids. <laughs> <laughs>